Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today coming at you guys with another Madden Player Creation Tutorial video. Today we're doing Bradley Chubb of the North Carolina State Wolfpack, one of the best defensive linemen in college football in 2017, and also probably the best defensive lineman in the 2018 NFL Draft. And today we're going to be putting him on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, just one of a couple other teams that could really use a guy like Bradley Chubb on their defensive line. So getting on into Bradley Chubb and his impact, for North Carolina State, not only this year, but throughout his career, is the all-time school leader in sacks, surpassing Mario Williams. Had 10 sacks his past two seasons at NC State, both his junior and senior year. Had 23 tackles in 2017, along with 72 total tackles, and was the Defensive Player of the Year in the ACC. Also won the Ted Hendricks Award and the Bronco Nagurski Award for Most Outstanding Defensive Player, an award that was won by the likes of players like Aaron Donald, Luke Keekley, and Brian Rackpo, some all-pro players right there, along with Jonathan Allen last year, who ended up being drafted by the Washington Redskins, has had to do with some injuries. But Bradley Chubb, when you look at this guy's frame at around 6'4", 275, 280, it's kind of insane when you watch his highlights because he has such a great get-off and power and explosion that you want to compare him to maybe a guy like Michael Bennett that has that strength straight up. But... He also has just incredible speed and pursuit that obviously a guy like Bennett with the same frame was not going to be able to be as explosive at his age, you know, into his early 30s. But nonetheless, Chubb has this, has just, I don't even know what it is about him, almost a better pass rushing ability. Michael Bennett is a very underrated uh, run stuffer, and the only reason I really am comparing him to Bennett is because they have very similar frames, and I've seen Michael Bennett play a lot as a Seahawks fan. And Bennett is a guy that I feel like is really good at stopping the run and is a good pass rusher at times. But Chubb really reminds me of a guy that is excellent at both right off the bat. And obviously, it's, he's going to be able to progress as he gets into the, into the league and maybe even gets bigger, more explosive, more powerful, which is hard to imagine considering how just powerful and strong he is at the moment in college football and how dominant he's been. But, you know, he's definitely going to have some room to improve in the NFL and to grow, but he's going to be an immediate upgrade on, on a defensive line that needs a pass rusher. So it's going to be really exciting to watch him play. I'm sure NC State fans out there, uh, you know, it's tough for them to see this guy go, even though obviously it's his senior year because NC State has really been tough defensively these past two years. He's been a big part of that on the defensive line, being so effective. And pass rushes, like I think a lot of people realize, are almost – Necessary, like completely necessary if you're going to end up trying to beat one of the top quarterbacks in the league like a Tom Brady or an Aaron Rodgers or a Russell Wilson because of the fact that if you if you don't get any pass rush no matter how great your your defensive back back ends are you know you're not going to be able to do anything so I feel like pass rush is just such a necessity and it's just because I feel like Tom Brady in particular is one of the best quarterbacks ever and the only time I've seen him beat is against great defensive line units and great pass rushers and Chubb is the guy that can add that to a team not saying right off the bat he's going to be an all-pro, Pro Bowl player. You know, you never know with some players and how um, they play in the league and if they can sustain, you know, great health. But Chubb is a guy that you can add as a piece off the edge that is going to be a great run stuffer and a great pass rusher. That's just my opinion and what I've seen of him. Obviously, there's tons of guys that have been busts out there, like uh, Deion Jordan, for example, with actually my Seahawks, who was drafted very highly and never really panned out in Miami. And so, you know, he's done pretty well actually with Seattle right now as a guy coming off the bench. But, you know, I think Chubb could be this phenomenal. And obviously, scouts do as well. He's going to be drafted top 10. Really excited to see what team he goes to, though, in particular, because he could definitely add a lot depending on what team he does go to. So, getting on into the equipment right here for Bradley Chubb, I do believe the Zenith 3 bar running back face mask, um, the Adidas 5 star white gloves. Adidas cleats because at NC State that was the brand they had so I did go with the college brand for the equipment and the gear that I put on that particular player today obviously Nick or not Nick Chubb, Nick Chubb Bradley Chubb excuse me getting Georgia and NC State players college players mixed up and then I believe tight uh, or not tight light tape on the right and left wrist were both normal and not heavy or not light I think it was normal it may have been light Obviously, you can go back and check. I don't think the socks were changed at all. I think they were still standard. And so, getting on into now the actual ratings for Bradley Chubb. Block shed is going to be high. Strength is going to be high. And power move. Those are probably 
the three areas of ratings that I would have the highest. Doesn't really matter what order, but if you're gonna do Bradley Chubb and Kratom, definitely I feel like those three ratings should be the highest. And you can obviously also the speed, acceleration, agility will be very good for a defensive lineman from what again I've seen and, and, and just him pursuing ball carriers, making plays in the backfield. I mean, what, 20 plus tackles for loss in the last two years. You don't get that from being a slow dude. You gotta chase after some guys down the line of scrimmage and he does that very well. Although it looks like right there, I only had high 70s for the speed, excel and agility, most likely just cause he's a rookie. Who knows, it could go up and I, may be, I might not even be giving enough credit to Bradley Chubb. But that actually will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You know, Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden player creation tutorial videos as well as other Madden NFL 18 content. I obviously just started a franchise episode series or franchise series on two old squads. Check that out if you're interested in that. And once again, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And yep, thanks for watching.